How about that? I'm like a ninja in the kitchen. Well, guys, you're watching a little Traeger Tuesday. And I got my good buddy Chef Sam here hanging out with me. And we're gonna we're gonna do a little little cooking today. Something that is gonna be different. We have some Traeger spices here. We have some Traeger barbecue. We have some of Sam's special rubs and special spices he's gonna do. But let me tell you, what we're about to cook is something that you've probably never cooked before. It's something that I've never cooked before. It's something that you've never cooked before. Never once. Today's the first yeah. time. So a little experiment today. We're gonna have fun with this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, so guess what we're cooking? We're cooking ribs. But when you think about cooking ribs, guess what kind of ribs they are? Alligator ribs. That's right, from the swamps of South Florida. Little Alligator little. ribs right there. That's what we're cooking today. So Sam, I'm gonna let you take over. I'm gonna hang out and watch. I'm gonna try to learn some things. Okay. And um, I'm excited about dinner tonight, my friend. Excellent, me too. Well, I'll show you what we got. Yep. So we're gonna put a simple rub together, something that's gonna go well with our citrus agave glaze that we're gonna finish these ribs with. Dude, I can't even spell that. Citrus agave glaze, that's pretty awesome sounding. Uh, you're gonna like it, I really? hope. We'll see, we'll see. Never made these give so ribs So before. you're gonna make the glaze? We're gonna make the glaze okay. and we're gonna make the rub. Gotcha. We're gonna start, basic rub ingredients, salt and sugar. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of white pepper. We have a little bit of coriander. Mm. We have a little bit of garlic powder. I like garlic. Garlic's always good. Garlic's good always. on everything. Pretty much. Yeah. I put garlic on everything. everything. Not my cereal or my eggs. No cake, yeah. Yeah, I'm not no that cake. Big, but everything else, pretty much. Onion powder. Regular Brandon paprika. doesn't like onions, by the way, so I don't know if he would like onion powder. We're I'm just saying, because every time we go, no onions for Brandon. Regular, what is that? Regular paprika. Okay. Smoked paprika. Wow. And then cumin. Healthy dose of cumin. We're just gonna whisk these together. Okay. And that's it. And this is basically a rub or a glaze. This is this is similar to any normal barbecue mm -hmm. rub. Mm -hmm. uh, I adjusted it a little bit so yep. that we'd have some flavors that would mesh well with the flavor of reptile and the citrus and the agave that sure. we have coming sure. later. So sure. not now, far off a normal rub. I, I'm not I'm not good at portions. I'm okay. not good. I'm I'm when I cook, guys. <laughs> It's funny. I'm like, I open up my spice cabinet and I'm like, a uh, little of this, a little of that, a little more of this, a little bit more of that. I don't even measure anything. I don't know anything. So Traeger has these rubs, obviously. And so I think we're going to do, you, yeah. you suggested that one. When Traeger I'm not rub. home, I suggest you try this guy right yes, here. Yes, that's what Traeger I'm going to do. So, Traditional barbecue rub goes good on pretty much everything. Yes, I like that. It's simple. All you got to do is open the lid, sprinkle it on, mm -hmm. heavy, rub it in, good mm -hmm. to go. And we also have these... Uh, Barbecue sauces here that we can play around with as well. Texas Spicy, Apricot, and Traeger Q. So they're Excellent. actually very good barbecue sauces. I love them a lot. So I agree. So we're gonna rub two of these with my rub right here, and then mm -hmm. we're gonna rub the other two with the Traeger rub. Uh, my rub has a lot more spice in it, so we're gonna go pretty heavy. Okay. It doesn't have a ton of salt and sugar in it. And we're gonna really get these guys. So yeah, you're putting it on there. I mean, that's 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 a lot. Yeah, yeah, we're really gonna, yeah. we're really gonna coat these guys. Um, well, it's alligator. I don't know how it's gonna taste. So we put this rub on here, and I think it's gonna mm -hmm. accentuate the flavors. Mm -hmm. I've heard good things about the alligator guys. I know. I have too. Th there's a lot of people watching this video right now going, "Oh my gosh, alligator! Is this is this a joke?" No, this is real, and it's something that's really new to the whole cooking market right now. There's a lot of people talking about it. Yeah. Uh, it's something that down here in South Florida, some of the restaurants are doing. Uh, they've even uh, done whole alligators on some of the bigger grills, yes. which we will definitely do that once we get a grill big enough or an alligator small enough, one of the two. Um, but I look forward to that. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So you're just taking, that's the Traeger rub. This is the Traeger rub. Bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're just going to get this guy coated nice and evenly. Make sure you get all sides. Don't miss anywhere. Rub it in. Don't be scared to massage it. You know, that's the thing I always see when I see people cooking. It's like they they put a lot of uh, rub on the meat. Yeah, you got to. And get then when the I'm doing it myself, I'm always like, am I putting too much? Not enough, you know? Right. But at watching you here, I can see that you just it's you know, a lot. It's yeah. Good. Yeah. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Very important. We're gonna smoke these on the Traeger, and what temperature should should we try to accomplish with this in time? We're gonna we're gonna put them on at around 275. Mm -hmm. And I'm expecting, I've never done them before, so right. we're gonna have to kind of play around. Yeah. I'm expecting it to take about two and a half, three hours, because okay. these are smaller yeah. ribs, so uh, 
Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully they get right. nice and tender. So is that it? That's 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 that, it. That, that was else, it. Nothing else to it. That's that's all we got. All right. Well, you you know what time it is now, guys. It's time to it's time to go outside. Let's cook. Right. Let's stick them on the grill Let's and get this it. party started. How about that? Gator ribs all ready to go. There you go, my friend. Let's do it. This is a Timberline 850, which I have the 34 inch Elite over there. We've got this set. What did you? What do you want to get your temperature at? About 275. We've got it at 275 right okay. now. The pellets that I put in this one uh, was called Big Game. Okay. And I figured for the alligator, makes sense to me. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, they have other flavors as well, but we're just kind of testing it out. Let's but see. I think that'll be good. So, how long are you thinking again on this? I'm guessing two and a half to three hours. Okay. Yeah. Who knows? Never cooked gator ribs before. We're going right. to find out. Just kind of keep coming out and checking on them. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about this Traeger here is that we can now go in the house, make the glaze, mm -hmm. and I can actually watch the temperature on my phone on the app. So wow. we don't have to sit out here and worry about what the grill's doing. We can just kind of keep track of it there. So, Excellent. Guys, we're going to let these things do a little simmer down. We're going to go in here and do a little glaze, hang out, maybe have a cold one. Get ready for dinner. Excellent. Can't juggle. I can juggle like, like this. All right. All right. So look, here's the deal, guys. I can't juggle. Number one. Number two. The ribs have been on the grill for about an hour. Mm -hmm. And Sam did say that we're going to do like a, an agave glaze. Correct. And you're going to show us what that's about. You're going to talk about the ingredients. We're going to put it in a spray bottle, and then we're uh -huh. going to go out and apply it to the ribs. So, take over, my friend. What are we doing? Super, super simple. Since uh, this gator is from South Florida, I think uh -huh. we should stick with that theme and use some citrus. Yeah. Um, I think it goes nicely with alligator meat. So I've just got some nice Valencia oranges, mm -hmm. and I've got some limes, and I've got some other ingredients here, some rice vinegar, I've got some agave nectar, really? and I've got a little bit of soy sauce. Okay. Not much to it at all. Really? Um, one thing that does make a huge difference, I highly recommend using fresh juice. Mm -hmm. it, it'll... Uh, it brings things up a notch. The flavor yeah, that citrus is... too will also cook it a little bit. Yeah, it, it just kind of a... infuses into that meat. It's really good. We've done that a lot on chicken down here. There's sour oranges and stuff down oh, here. Yeah. In South Florida, guys put a lot of sour oranges on the chicken and on pork. And uh, so I think this will be a great addition to the gator for sure. Most definitely. Yeah, sour oranges are one of my favorite ingredients. And that's actually kind of what we're simulating here with the orange juice and the lime juice. Mm -hmm. um, sour oranges grow in the wild and you can't always find them and they're not always in season. <laughs> so uh, this is our homemade version. So once we get all the citrus juice in here, we don't need any more oranges. We're gonna go ahead and add in these three things here. These three things. Now what is this? This is soy? Soy sauce. Yeah. Go ahead and I like it. soy because I like sushi. I know what soy is. Mm -hmm. What is that? Rice vinegar. So this is actually ah. in sushi too. This goes on the okay. rice. I'm, this is, I'm this loving this. Yeah. Rice. All right. And then agave for a little sweetness. All right. To balance all that acid out. Yep. So we're just going to whisk that up. And we're going to somehow get it into this ah, bottle over here. That is going to be um, restaurant official. Yes, this is a spray bottle. Professional plus glaze bottle. But, but there's never been any hard chemicals in this. Nothing. This is a uh, this little soapy water has been in there, but we we we've, we've cleaned it out twice. Yes, twice maybe. Yeah, we're good. You actually put a little vinegar in there, so it smells oh, yeah. great now. We're good to go. So as far as getting it in there, uh, I'm not real sure, because that's going to be tough there. How about, uh, hey, I got an idea. I got an idea. Oh, I perfect. I got an idea. OK. So here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Pour it in there. I see where you're going. Cup. I see where you're going. We got this at the Forestwood Cup Championship. It's a little, little rubber cup. Perfect. Look. Huh. How about that? There you go. Let's go squirt these ribs. All right. So basically, you're just going to do, you're going to put it on there how many times throughout the process, you think? Just you know, when, whenever you check it, we're just going to keep the moisture mm -hmm. up in there. We don't want them to dry out. Mm -hmm. And this is going to continually add moisture, but at the same time, this glaze is going to build slowly. And by the end of it, we should have a nice sheen on okay. top of these Good. ribs. Good. And we've added a few more ribs to that Traeger because we wanted to have more to eat. So yeah. there's some that are going to be a little later pulling off, but can't wait to try these. I cannot wait to try this. Let's, Let's go spray this it. on there and Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Is that good? That's how you taste test it? Perfect. <laughs> he says it's good. Let's see what these puppies look like. Let's do it. 
Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get these guys nice and squared. Cool! Excellent. What do you guys think about this so far? I think it's pretty cool. Let me know. Drop a comment down below and let me know some of your favorite recipes on the Traeger for sure because we'll do some more with Sam for sure. Can't wait to try these things. But drop some comments below. Let me know what your favorite stuff is to cook on the Traeger. It's an awesome grill, by the way. Check out this little multi-tool. It's like a Swiss Army barbecue tool it's pretty by Traeger. Pretty sweet, huh? They sent that to me. Nice. Got your little deal. Got a wine opener. Oh, yeah, cool. uh, I don't know what this is. That's a pigtail, I'll show you. Really? What do you do with that? Check this out. So you can flip meat with it. Really? You lift it, you turn it. I got you. Yeah. You lift it, turn it. There you All go. right. I looked at that thing and I was like, I don't know what it is, man. Some kind of serious looking picker. But in the meantime, we are going to now put a glaze, another glaze, on them with the Traeger barbecue sauce. So I'm going to glaze these over here that yeah. we put the Traeger rub on. And this is the sriracha glaze? This is sriracha glaze, exactly. Yeah. And what's really cool about the Traeger, guys, and a lot of people think that it's a, you know, it's a smoker, but it's, it's basically like an outdoor convection oven. I mean, you can do everything from, uh, obviously, ribs, Boston butts, pizzas, cornbread pudding. I mean, you can just do, we're gonna do a lot of these things coming up. So more Traeger Tuesdays, we're gonna do some appetizers. We're gonna show you lots of cool things that we can cook on this Traeger because it's absolutely gold. I mean, love it. So we'll drop links down below for the recipes. We'll drop links down below for Sam's YouTube channel. And of course, everything that we're using here today as well. So it is finally that time. It is time to do some picking with the picker. All let's right, do it. I'll pick it this time. All right. Grab them. You want to pull these I'll off the right pan. here? Yeah, let's get these, these first racks that we put on. These over here? Yep. Boat. That's probably a guy actually getting ready to go gator hunt, to be honest with you. Yeah. The gator hunt right out here. Now we're going to leave these on because we put these on later. Yeah. But you hear that noise in the background, guys? That is actually an airboat. We're right here on the shores of Lake Okeechobee. And uh, people gator hunt out here quite a bit. So that's probably what they're doing. Either that or getting ready for some frogs. All right. Man, I'm excited. I think they're going to be good. What do you think, guys? I think they're going to be excellent. But, but we got Sam. I mean, everything's good when you have Sam. And everything's good when you have a Traeger. So, I'm interested to see what happens. Me too, I hope they're good. I think they're gonna be great, man, they look good. Looky there, guys, wow. That's amazing looking, man. You know, when I look at them, to me, it looks like pork. You can't tell the difference. Yeah. I'm blown away, I truly am blown yeah. away. I was not expecting, we've got, we've got the pink ring from the mm -hmm. smoke. Yeah. We've got clean white meat. That's beautiful. It just, it you couldn't tell. Yeah. I mean, the bones are a little weird, but it just, it looks like pork. It looks I'm, good. I'm completely blown away. It yeah. doesn't smell like reptile. <laughs> it smells, <laughs> looks, everything. Yeah, it never, it never had a smell of any sort. It never had a no. weird texture. It was really good. But now it's the moment of truth, my friend. Right. We Let's have, we have. This is the Traeger rub with the Traeger mm -hmm. sauce, mm -hmm. and this is your rub. We're gonna try both of them. Mm -hmm. We're gonna give you guys an honest opinion on that. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited to try alligator ribs. So I'm gonna start over here on yours. Okay, you I'm gonna start over here okay. on the Traegers. All right, let's dig in. Feels just like a rib. Uh, I don't know how to navigate this thing. Dude, that's really good. I mean, seriously, that's good. That is alligator. And it's like pork, but almost like better than pork to me. <laughs> like seriously, like, this is not what I expected. I honestly, I didn't have super high hopes that right. this would be this good, and I've got to tell you, I'm blown away. That is really good. So I've got to try, i got to try one of these over here. Mm -hmm. Oh man, look at that, look at that. Look how tender that is, just mm. pulls right off. Mm. The bone comes yeah. clean. That, guys, is really, really good. The sauce, I'm not sure which one I like the best, but I'll tell you, it's good. With that sauce right there, nice little kick to it. Mm -hmm. That sriracha, little glaze, mm -hmm. the Traeger rub, very, very good. I'm excited, dude. Hey, we gotta, we gotta do a little that. Yeah, we gotta. Okay, keep, we gotta try this again, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Mm -hmm. The Gator ribs are a hit. Big thank you to Traeger. Huge thank you to Sam. Thank you. We're gonna drop links down below. Let you guys know where to find all this and where we got the Gator ribs. We're gonna drop a link down below. So if you guys want to order some ribs, 
for a party, anything you got going on, click the link down below, order you some up, grill right them, here in County. smoke them, whatever you want to do. It's good. Thanks for hanging out, guys. And we're gone. We're gone, dude. We're gone, and we're going to finish eating. Yeah, I'm hungry. So, Let's eat. We'll see you.